Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Patrice Jenkins and I have a surprise for you today. Some of you may already have known that I recently changed positions. I'm no longer teaching third and fourth grade. I'll be teaching online first through fourth grade math and science. So in today's video, I want to show you step by step on what I did in order to turn my home office and library into my virtual classroom. Okay, so welcome to our garage. <laughs> we um, moved all my stuff out and then found a way to just keep all of my manipulatives and resources neat and organized so whatever I need, I can just come down here whenever I need it. So um, over here, these are all of my bins. Um, labeled and then on this side same thing all my themes and I tried to keep everything in clear bin so that I can easily access it and see um, everything here things labeled and that's it so what I've been doing is as I was setting up my office I just kept coming back and forth down here with my um, big old heavy duty bucket. And I would take what I need and put it in there, take it back upstairs and whatever I didn't need, I would just come back here and put it in its right spot. So hopefully that helps. If you are teaching from home as well and you're trying to figure out how do you organize things, I feel like this is the best way to organize it, keep it somewhere. Like I didn't have enough space in our home, so we had to put it in the garage and I can just come out here and grab what I need whenever I need it. Okay, so I'm showing you one other spot in my house that I created um, so that I would be able to have a different place to shoot when I'm virtually teaching. This is a reading nook and this is where Patty is. So when I want to have Patty come on and help me teach a lesson, this is a perfect spot. And so when I sit here, the background is already white Patty's already just here on the stool. So it makes it easy to just kind of say, okay, when I wanna switch locations, I can even bring my laptop here, set it up in front of me, use my ring light, and then my office is right there. Now, hopefully all this takes place when my husband isn't home, so I don't disturb him when he brings his work home. But I think it's a perfect location and it's cozy and it's something different from just sitting upstairs in my classroom. So I found some faithless bulletin board paper on Amazon. And you can get this at any teacher supply store. You can get it at Michael's, but I want it get it from Amazon because it had great reviews and I like the way stuff is delivered right to my house. So now I'm putting up my bulletin board paper and I'm just using little tacks to keep the corners um, tacked down. And then as I was putting this paper up, I measured it, but I actually had to go back and add more pieces to the ends of it because I found out that I wanted it to be a little bit longer. But bulletin boards were never my thing. So I was happy when I found this paper because I didn't have to worry about really measuring it out. I think that it's a good size if you're trying to make your own bulletin board at home. So what I had was some black and white polka dot uh, borders that I really wanted to put up.
So as I'm finishing um, the border, putting the border up and measuring it, um, I'm just tweaking it to go ahead and add some finishing touches. And what I'm doing is I'm going to put a bright and cheery colorful theme in my classroom. And the colors that I always like are black and white, blue, and then I like accents of yellow and green and white, and then a little bit more of the blue. So I got these flowers from Hobby Lobby. Um, I spray painted the blue and the green, but the smaller ones already came um, in white, and I'm just putting them up with a tack. Okay, so now I'm putting up my, um, I guess you would call these your sheet protectors. I got them from Target. I can't remember the name of them, but this year I'm going to be teaching grade levels 1 through 4 science and 1 through 4 math. So that's what I will use to put up the assignments that I'm going to be teaching them. But for now, I made a Mickey poster and he's going up there. Um, later on, I ended up changing that too because I realized I didn't have any space. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, I had to go back and add some, end, some ends of my bulletin board on both sides so that it would stretch a little bit longer. I got these two um, organizers from my local store, Meyer, and just put them together really quick off camera. And then um, the bulletin board also has my whiteboard attached and it's super cute because I like how it has the border around it it makes it kind of look chic and goes along with my theme okay so now I'm just doing the finishing touches to my classroom I'm gonna be teaching grades 1 through 4 math and science so I'm making sure that I have all my materials here it's all coming together I'm really happy with how it turned out Yay! So now you see my finished pro project and you can see I did some changes. I redid um, the board as I told you and added um, two protectors so that I could do one for math and science. And now I'm just giving you a close-up. I have my one and only Ivan book over there with my lamp and my little plant, my markers, my stem, then the math side. I have my um, light box and manipulatives over there my markers are set up and this is just what I'm doing in order to function and there's my library I can access all my read alouds or anything that I need um, and still feels like my office and then my little chewy is over there to the left that's her area where she sleeps and eats and relaxes <laughs> And it'll be good because when I'm filming that my students can easily see Chewy. Here she is. And then I just love how this space is still my office. But at the same time I can still um, use it as my space to teach my online classes. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video vlog and um, you're able to gain some inspiration from it. So I'm going to show you a little tour of my office space. So I have my two sheet protectors right now. It just has all about me and our classroom is magical little poster. And then I got these flowers from um, Hobby Lobby and spray painted them. Um, I have my book, the one and only Ivan. Can't wait for the movie to come out from Disney in a couple of weeks. And then this is the side where I'll be teaching, keeping my manipulatives for STEM and science. I've got my markers and then my interactive notebooks all ready to go. Um, and then I created binders for my curriculum for math and science, uh, grade one, two, three, and four, right there. And then here is my math cart. And then of course I had to have my little, um, light box. I switched these out. Got them from TPT. 
and then just more math manipulatives. And then this side is just kind of where I keep lots of my Disney stuff. And um, this part of the office is my personal side, of course, where I'll be grading and my motivation. I got my Keurig set up here, um, a bulletin board where I'll be keeping my schedule and announcements. And then um, got this from Target to take my first day of virtual school picture. And then this side of the office is where Chewy lives and does her thing. And then this is my library. My library was on the wall where you saw my um, new classroom. So I just slid it over here and the space isn't that big. So we just make it work. And then this whole library is from Ikea. And then some things that make me feel happy. And then there's my first week of school binder. Hi guys. So it took me maybe two or three hours to finish my classroom in my house. I'm exhausted <laughs> because I had to go through all of my teacher essentials, my resources and pull it together to make it actually look good in my home. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure that there was a separation between my regular office and between my classroom. So thankfully my husband and I were able to move pieces around and figure out different ways to actually make it work. Um, you do not have to do anything like this. You can do whatever works for you if you are teaching online. But for me, I literally kept thinking, I was like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do to make this my actual classroom? So I'm happy that it's over with, I'm exhausted. It's Sunday night, my husband and I are gonna watch a movie, we're gonna eat. And then tomorrow when I go into my classroom slash office, then I can start planning my curriculum a little bit better. I'm teaching math and science. So I am teaching grades one to four science, one to um, four math. So that's why I have two areas, one for math, one for science. And then I will just build as the school year goes on. But I like to organize and by organizing my space, I feel a lot better. I'm gonna be able to sleep better tonight. One of the things that my husband and I had to do this morning, we got up like around 6 a.m. Um, in my office space, since it's so small and it's kind of shaped weird, I had my one of my closets, which we bought from Ikea, actually inside of the office. So because we needed to move the closet out of that then we actually put it in our bedroom so now you know we're just living with different changes but it's going to make things a lot better as far as teaching and i'm super excited about it i'm glad that i was able to show you some stuff things didn't go as planned i tried to put my bulletin board paper up and it wasn't straight so i had to take it back down and add more length to it so i could fit my whiteboard and it's just been an experience, but it's just like when you're teaching in your classroom, there are things that work and things that don't. And I probably will make more changes later on, but I'm happy with how everything came out. I would love to hear how you guys are turning your spaces into your own classroom at home, if that's what you're doing. And I hope that you were able to get some ideas from me. Like I said, most of the stuff that I bought was from Amazon, had it shipped to the house in two days. And um, I did get the two organizers, the shelves from our local store, Meyer. And I really like how everything came out. So I will see you guys in my next video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And I hope that you guys will continue to um, have value from the videos that I post. I'll see you guys next time.